Good morning, my friends. We are making black raspberry jelly today. I just came back from the flea market and they had black raspberries, so I'm very, very excited. As a child growing up, we lived on a farm and my mom always made black raspberry jelly. When I say black raspberries, I'll, put, I'll post a picture for you guys. You guys normally will think of blackberries. Blackberries is not what I'm talking about. I am talking about black raspberries. These are, these are the old bushes that used to grow around the farm and it took forever to pick raspberries. My friends and I, we would get on our bikes and as kids we would ride miles and miles just picking black raspberries. Remember that, Patty? And then we would bring them home and my mom would make black raspberry jelly. And it's one of my kids' favorite things. Obviously, after my weight loss surgery, I can't have it, but it is so good and it's worth the time and it's worth the effort. But anyway, I am gonna show you guys how to make black raspberry jelly. We're gonna start out with, I have about six pints of black raspberries, which I have now put into a pot and I've submersed them just to the top of the raspberries with water and I'm gonna boil them down. We're gonna boil them down, just the water and the raspberries to make the raspberry juice, which is then we're gonna take the raspberry juice and then we're gonna make the actual recipe of the jelly. So right now is submersing the raspberries and we are gonna wait for this to come to a boil. When it comes to when it comes to a boil, it's the raspberries are going to start to disintegrate and you're just going to be left with the seeds and the juice. Once you have the seeds and the juice, we're just going to boil it for like five minutes. Bring those raspberries into the juice and then we will use our tool and we will put the raspberries through the sieve, which I will show. I'll show you guys more when I'm about to do it but we'll put them through there and then we'll let the juice cool and then we will have the base of our raspberry jelly. I'll be back guys. Okay guys, our raspberries covered in water, just barely, have now cooked down. It's been about 15 minutes, this is what it looks like. So now they've kind of like somewhat disintegrated and we basically just have raspberry juice. We're going to let that cool a little bit and then we are going to put it through the strainer. And then I will be back again. Okay guys, I am back and our raspberries have cooked down. So we have a very nice raspberry juice now that we have to put through the strainer. We are going to strain this out and then cool that off and that is going to be the base that we're going to use to make our jelly. So you got to be very careful doing this because it's bright purple and will stain everything. This would be perfect to make like tie dyed shirts. But we are going to grab our mixture very carefully and I'm gonna ladle it all into the sieve and I'm gonna strain out the juice. And then I will be back once it's time to start putting the jelly together to cook that down. Once you get it all in there, you gotta kinda keep working with your with your wooden thing to squeeze out all the juice because you don't want those seeds. You want to you want to do this process because who wants to be eating raspberry jelly and have seeds stuck in their teeth? Nobody. All right, so that's what it's going to look like when it's done. And we are going to have that is our raspberry liquid. Hi guys, I'm back again. Now we have our raspberry juice strained, no more seeds, and we're going to begin to make our jelly now. 
jelly jam. I guess you would call it jam. Jam is with no seeds. I think jelly has seeds. And what we're going to use for that is going to be five cups of the raspberry juice that we just made. We're going to use sure gel. Sure gel is the fruit pectin, which is what's going to make it jelly, basically. But that is that. I have six and a half cups of sugar already measured out. We are going to throw in a half a teaspoon of butter into our raspberry juice. That butter will make it so that it's not going to bubble up and froth over. It kind of keeps it the frothing under control. And then we are going to add, it almost looks like jello or pudding. We're going to add that into our raspberry juice. And we are going to cook that and bring it up to a boil. Once that comes up to a boil, we're going to add our six and a half cups of sugar. And we're going to bring that up to a boil again. And we're going to let that cook for about a minute. And then that's pretty much all there is to it to making the jelly. While we're cooking this up, if you get a big big container and boil some water. You want to drop your jars into the boiling water and cook them just to sanitize them because we're going to be canning the jelly. Which you don't have to can the jelly. At this point you could put it into a container and put it in the refrigerator or freeze it. Then you wouldn't have to go through the sanitizing of the jars. You could just put it into a freezer container. I personally, I like the jars. They last all year. That way I can send them to my son in Florida and he'll be happy and everybody will be happy. But that's about it. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna bring this to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, I'm gonna add my sugar, I'm gonna stir that up, I'm gonna bring it back to a boil and then we will be ready to throw it in our jars. And I'll come back at that point. All right, guys, we brought it to a first boil. I put the short gel in. Now I put the sugar in, six cups. We're bringing that to a boil, and we just have to boil it for about a minute, and we'll be ready to fill the jars. All right, guys, when it starts boiling, you wanna bring it to a full rolling boil. Like you wanna really boil it really good for a minute, and then boil it for like a minute. This is gonna ensure that it gels and sets well. Mm. It smells like heaven in here. I can't eat it, but I know my family's gonna enjoy it. Mm, I cannot wait. I'm gonna jar it in a few minutes. All right, guys, now we're putting it in our jars. I just use my ladle. And I kind of just pour it into the jars. It's hot. A lot of people, after they jar it, they boil the jars again. My family, we take it and we put the lids on really good. We flip it upside down and we put it under a towel for 24 hours and they seal. They will make the vacuum. After 24 hours, you can take it out and you will, you'll know that it's sealed because it will the top will be sunken in. If it didn't seal, you'll, you'll be able to feel it popping and then you know you have to put it in the fridge. But this will work splendidly. All right guys, we're finishing up the jelly. All in the jars and now we turn them upside down and we cover them with a towel and they would They'll stay covered for about 24 hours. And tomorrow, they will be ready to go in the cabinet or give us gifts. I hope you guys enjoyed making the jelly. I wish I could send a taste to each and every one of you. And you should definitely make it for your family because they will love it. And they make super gifts. Have a great one, guys.